okay, you have no clue how excited I am to share this video with you. So basically how this all started, I had this slight, well it's not really slight, this major obsession with Union Jack stuff. And ever since I went to England last year and even a little bit before then, I literally, everything Union Jack, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And when I went to England, I got a ton of Union Jack stuff and I put it all in one bag. And I also had a nail polish in there, which sadly broke open and ruined everything Union Jack I had so now I literally have like two things so anyways today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create ah, these shoes honestly these are like my new obsession honestly these are so super easy to make and they're inexpensive so if you want to learn how to make these super duper cool shoes then stay tuned all right all right now <laughs> okay i could not tell you what that just was but first off you're going to be needing any type of white shoes i'm using these van lookalikes from target and i do not recommend using real vans because obviously you could mess up then you're going to be needing any type of paint i'm using these paint markers i found at walmart you can use any fabric paint although i do not recommend puffy paint then you're going to be needing tape. These are going to be acting as your lines. And as you can see, mine's kind of thick tape. And you want the thinnest tape you can find. So this will do. So I'm going to be taking some scissors to cut my tape into smaller strips. So in doing so, what I did is I just ripped off a piece. And then I took my scissors and I cut off the end of my tape as you see me doing here. This is just to help me get a perfect line. And then I split it into three, and in doing so, I cut three little strips to act as guiding lines. Also, you can just rip the tape if you want, but I'm like a perfectionist, and I don't, I don't know, I just wanted it to look more slick and almost as if I'd bought them at the store. So I cut them into strips using scissors, and then I just continued cutting it all the way down, and I did this for, until I had about 15 or 16 strips. There was a time. So now we're gonna be adding our tape lines in. And also, I had a computer sitting up next to me with the Union Jack symbol up so I could follow along off of that. But it'll be easier if you just follow off of what I did because it turned out perfect. So this will be easier just to follow off of. And also, you wanna take out your shoelaces. So what I did is I just placed two pieces of tape on each side over the holes and I dragged the tape down past the bottom of the shoe to ensure that it stayed on. Now, for this part, using the shoelace holes, I skipped one and went to the second one and put a piece of tape over that and then I skipped another one and put a piece of tape over the fourth shoe hole and then what you want to do you want to go in right in between those two pieces of tape right there and take out the middle because otherwise you'll have this really awkward line when you paint the shoe so I used my scissors just to ensure that it came all the way off and the line was straight and then I just peeled it off like so and then going from that little corner right there, I dragged a piece of tape in. And then going off of the first line that we did in the beginning, I dragged another piece in to create um, part of the red line of the Union Jack symbol. And this piece of tape in the middle, you don't want to take out. And then going off the corner of the back part of the shoe right there, I put a piece of tape down. And also you want to make sure it's really straight with no bumps. And then going off of the middle line, I added another piece of tape going down like so. So now going to the back of the shoe, you want these two pieces of tape to be splitting the center. So put one piece of tape on each side like so. When you're done taping the side of the shoe, it should look like this. And now you want to go back and create this same exact pattern on the other half of the shoe. I recommend replaying the taping part of this video, unless you think you got the pattern down pretty well. So now comes the fun part, aka the painting. But actually, this took me the longest time since I used these markers instead of just pure paint. But anyways, you want to go in inside the lines on where we taped, and you just want to color all of that red including this part of the shoe and the tongue of the shoe because otherwise they'll have like that really awkward just like white spot inside the red and also i had a picture up next to me again so i could see where the red lines are supposed to go in case you're not sure but like i said i just recommend again following along with what i did because it'll be easier versus than looking at a picture so you just want to continue painting all the red lines including the one on the back of the shoe we are not shining stars This I know I never said we are Though I've never been through hell like that If closed enough windows to know you can never look back ah. If you're lost and alone Or you're sinking like a stone Carry on May your past be the sound Of 
So right there you can see my Mickey Mouse pajamas. Sorry about that. But once you've completed all of the red painting, you want to go in with your blue paint and paint all the white spaces you have left, which are just the opposite of the red lines. tape and all you want to do is start at the top of the shoe and then slowly pull each piece of tape down and also you want to make sure all the paint on the shoe is dry before you do this because otherwise when you're removing the tape it might drag some of the wet paint onto the white part of the shoe which would not be good the finished result thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i really hope you try it out because it's not that hard and so yeah see you guys next video bye